Hello, and welcome to Section 3 of Advanced Computer Vision Projects in Python 3. In these videos, we're going to cover human pose estimation with TensorFlow using the deeper cut algorithm. So just to get started, what exactly are we talking about with human pose estimation? Human pose estimation is kind of similar to that. And as you can see on the right, we kind of have landmarks, which are joints like feet, ankles, chin, shoulder, elbows, hands, head, so forth. So we're going to actually do this automatically using deep learning. So this is a considerably more challenging problem. With human faces, it's relatively rigid, relatively constant from face to face, like the relative position of, say, eyes to nose, nose to mouth, mouth to chin, and so forth. You know, although we look different, humans roughly have the same facial structure. And although we have the same body structure, our bodies aren't rigid. So actually, you know, detecting where feet are relative to knees and knees relative to, like, elbows and so forth, it's actually a much more challenging problem than facial detection because we're very flexible. And, you know, even if you can't do the splits, you can still assume a wide variety of poses and we can move our arms around, we can move our hands, our feet, and so forth around. We can be standing in a wide variety of positions. So detecting body parts and figuring out how they all come together, very challenging problem, which until recently, not feasible. But thanks to some breakthroughs in computer vision from you know various groups around the world, but we're going to cover an algorithm called Deeper Cut, which was developed by a group in Germany and Max Planck Institute in conjunction with Stanford University who have released their algorithm, who've published papers, and made their code available. They've actually made uh, some big breakthroughs. Uh, this isn't the only code out there, but this is a very good one that is out there for us to study. So if you want more information, there are some papers available. They publish their paper, Deep Cut, Joint Set, Subset Partition, and Labeling for a Multi-Person Pose Estimation, which talks about, you know, kind of an earlier algorithm before Deeper Cut where they talk about how they detected body parts and how they ran an optimization algorithm to see how they would most likely come together. I mean, of course, you know, this is estimation, as always, pretty much everything computer vision is. You can't absolutely determine it, but you can determine things with a reasonable amount of probability. So if you want details, I do recommend reading their paper here, Deep Cut. I'm not going to try to pronounce the author's names. I might get it wrong, so out of respect to them, I'm not going to. But read this paper and subsequent paper, Deeper Cut, a deeper, stronger, and faster multi-person pose estimation model by the same group of authors. And this will cover a lot of the technical details. But again, this is pragmatic, hands-on course. We're not going to go deep into the theory, forgive the, the deep pun we're going to cover how exactly we can run the code and use it within our own projects. So go here to the GitHub page. This is uh, Eldar slash pose dash TensorFlow. This is their public implementation, their code, which covers deeper cut and a newer one called uh, Art Track. Is it articulated multi-person tracking in the wild? And you can see uh, output result here and we're going to run a modified version of the code that's uh, made to run in the Jupyter Notebook and kind of made for uh, learning purposes. So it should be a little easier than just uh, getting it straight from GitHub. All of the pre-trained models are included here, so should be pretty good to go. You just open the notebook. So I do recommend, you know, checking out their website here. You know, go to the GitHub page. Their website is linked, and so are the papers publicly available for download, and this will give you a lot of useful background information on what they have done. So we are ready to get started working on the code. 